Today we'll discuss classification and clinical uses of sympathomimetic or adrenergic agonists. Subscribe the channel if not yet subscribed. Sympathomimetic or adrenergic agonists are classified as direct acting, indirectly acting and mixed acting sympathomimetic agents. The directly acting sympathomimetic directly activate adrenoceptors for example epinephrine. The indirectly acting sympathomimetic drugs increase the concentration of endogenous catecholamine transmitter in the synapse for example amphetamine. Mixed acting sympathomimetic drugs activate adrenoceptors by both direct and indirect mechanisms for example ephedrine. We start with directly acting sympathomimetic agonists. The directly acting sympathomimetic are further classified as catecholamines and noncatecholamines. Catecholamine sympathomimetic includes drugs like dobutamine, dopamine, epinephrine, isoproterenol and norepinephrine. Catecholamine drugs increase blood pressure and are called vasopressors agents. The catecholamines are used to treat several types of shock. Shock is a condition in which the blood circulation to vital organs is profoundly reduced. Dopamine is used to treat septic or cardiogenic shock when patients remain hypotensive despite adequate fluid administration. Norepinephrine, which is a potent vasoconstrictor, is used to treat septic shock and is often given to persons with cardiogenic shock when the response to dopamine is inadequate or is accompanied by marked tachycardia. Norepinephrine is also used to treat hypotension caused by decreased peripheral resistance such as can occur in persons who have received excessive doses of a vasodilator drug. In cases of anaphylaxis, epinephrine is the treatment of choice. By producing bronchodilation and increasing blood pressure, epinephrine counteracts the effects of histamine and other mediators that are released from mast cells and basophils during immediate hypersensitivity reactions. Epinephrine is used as a vasoconstrictor to reduce bleeding during surgery and to prolong the action of local anesthetics by retarding their absorption into the general circulation. Epinephrine is also used as a cardiac stimulant in the treatment of cardiac arrest and ventricular fibrillation. Isoproterenol is used to treat refractory bradycardia and atrioventricular block when other measures have not been successful. Isoproterenol is a very potent beta receptor agonist and has little effect on alpha receptors. The drug has positive chronotropic and enotropic actions, because isoproterenol activates beta receptors almost exclusively, it is a potent vasodilator. These actions lead to a marked increase in cardiac output. Non-catecholamines directly acting sympathomimetic are further classified as per selectivity for the adrenoceptor receptor. The alpha-1 adrenoceptor agonists are methoxamine, phenylephrine, oxymetazoline, tetrahydrazoline and xylometazoline. Methoxamine and phenylephrine are used as pressor agents in treating hypotension and shock. Phenylephrine can be administered intravenously to treat forms of hypotension and shock caused by decreased peripheral vascular resistance. These hypotension include caused by excessive doses of vasodilator drugs, drug-induced shock, septic shock, and neurogenic shock such as resulting from spinal cord injury. Phenylephrine is also used to maintain blood pressure during surgery for example hypotension induced by anesthetic agents. Oxymetazoline, tetrahydrazoline, xylometazoline and some preparations of phenylephrine are used as nasal decongestants in patients with viral rhinitis and allergic rhinitis. Phenylephrine is also used in patients with allergic conjunctivitis, an inflammation of the eyes associated with hay fever or other allergies. Phenylephrine can be used as a topical ocular decongestant. 
Phenylephrine is also used as ocular preparation for inducing mydriasis and thereby facilitate ophthalmoscopic examination of the retina. Alpha-2-adrenoceptor agonists include centrally acting antihypertensive agents like clonidine and alpha-methyldopa. They activate alpha-2-adrenoceptors in the central nervous system. Activation of central alpha-2-adrenoceptors leads to a reduction in sympathetic outflow from the vasomotor center in the medulla and reduction in blood pressure. That's why alpha-2-adrenoceptor agonists clonidine and alpha-methyldopa are used as antihypertensive agents. The activation of alpha-2-adrenoceptors in the central nervous system is also causes sedation and analgesia. For these effects clonidine is used to facilitate abstinence from opioids in persons being treated for drug dependence. Apraclonidine and bromonidine are relatively selective alpha-2 agonists that have been developed for glaucoma therapy. They prevent the release of norepinephrine at nerve terminals. It decreases aqueous homor production as well as episcleral venous pressure and improves trabecular outflow. The beta-2 adrenoceptor agonists like albuterol or salbutamol, pyrbuterol, and terbutaline, phenoterol, formoterol, arfermoterol, levalbuterol, and salmeterol cause smooth muscle relaxation in several tissues. These drugs produce bronchodilation and are beneficial in the treatment of asthma and chronic obstructive lung diseases. Beta-2 agonists terbutaline, are sometimes used to suppress premature labor, but the cardiac stimulant effect may be hazardous to both mother and fetus. Phenaldepam is a D1 receptor agonist that selectively leads to peripheral vasodilation in some vascular beds. The primary indication for phenaldepam is in the intravenous treatment of severe hypertension continuous infusions of the drug have prompt effects on blood pressure. Indirectly acting sympathomimetic. The indirectly acting drug amphetamine was widely used and abused for their CNS effects. Legitimate indications include narcolepsy and, with appropriate adjuncts, weight reduction. The anorexiant effect may be helpful in initiating weight loss but is insufficient to maintain the loss unless patients also receive intensive dietary and psychological counseling and support. Methylphenidate and other amphetamine analogs have been heavily used in attention deficit disorder. The drugs are abused or misused for the purpose of deferring sleep and for their mood-elevating, euphoria-producing action. Mixed-acting adrenoceptor agonists. Ephedrine and pseudoephedrine are mixed-acting adrenoceptor agonists. They activate adrenoceptors by both direct and indirect mechanisms. These agents indirectly increase synaptic concentrations of norepinephrine in a manner similar to that of amphetamine. Ephedrine is a naturally occurring compound obtained from plants of the genus Ephedra. Ephedrine activate alpha and beta adrenoceptors by direct and indirect mechanisms. Via the activation of alpha-1 adrenoceptors, these drugs produce vasoconstriction, making them useful as nasal decongestants in the treatment of viral and allergic rhinitis. By activating beta adrenoceptors, these drugs produce bronchodilation, but selective beta-2 adrenoceptor agonists are more safe and effective for this purpose. Pseudoephedrine, an isomer of ephedrine, has been used as a nasal decongestant in the treatment of colds and allergies. Like share and subscribe the channel.